Hi. Hello there. I'm Michelle Rice and I'm a silver leader with Young Living and I've been that. Uh, I'm here to teach you guys all about the fun makeup. I'm so excited. Yeah. This is Erin. Erin. Erin, how long have you been using the makeup? Um, it's probably been about a month and a half, I think. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yay. And my hair is a little bit hum it's humid outside yes. right now in Arizona and it's raining. So um, if you've been invited by this lovely lady, then make sure you say hey in the comments uh, that you're watching and post some questions if you have any. Um, we'll be happy to answer some live or in the replay. Uh, and if you are watching the replay, can you hit say replay so we know that you watched it. That would be awesome. Thanks. Um, okay, so basically my story, I just wanted to start from the beginning um, with my skin. Uh, I did start using natural products about two years ago with essential oils, and that's when I joined Young Living. Uh, just learning all of the natural ways that I can use essential oils holistically um, for emotions and for my muscles, for my cleaning with my kids, um, crazy mom life, and I started using them on my skin. Uh, I, you can use tea tree, lavender, frankincense. Those are really good cleansing oils that are supportive of a good healthy skin, promoting good health and good um, anti-aging sort of in some ways and uh, moisture and it's just amazing. So I started there with my skin, uh, but let me tell you for about 13 years, I had been struggling with incredibly difficult acne. Acne like big, um, hey, if you're joining, can you say hey and make sure we're on the right direction because we might be like horizontal or vertical. I don't know. Um, hey, Kristen. Okay. Um, and so for 13 years, I had struggled with my hormonal, probably acne. I don't know what it was from. I had used several, several different types of topical acne treatments. I've I tried all the store brands for acne medicines and acne face washes. Um, I was really, I was getting to a point and, and I was in my mid thirties, starting to be in my mid thirties. I was early thirties. Okay. Early. Um, <laughs> I'm almost to mid. Yeah. I, I'm almost there. 34. No, I'm 34. Yeah. I'm late. <laughs> late. <laughs> it doesn't matter after 30. You right. can do whatever. <laughs> yeah. You start going backwards. <laughs> yeah. I'm 35. I'm just constantly 30. Yeah. I'm good. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was tired of it. I was, uh, just tired of what was going on with my skin and I, I was desperate. So I, I almost bought a $300, uh, skincare line, yeah. uh, because I was desperate. I was at the end. Um, and I, I, I hadn't tried any of the Young Living stuff at this point. So then Young Living came out last summer with new mineral makeup. And I was just starting to crack the, the in, crack into the Young Living natural makeup line, um, skincare line. And I switched my makeup. And guess what happened? My skin cleared up. I haven't had problems like I normally had. Um, it was supported because of the natural makeup line because I didn't have the extra chemicals that were in my makeup. Now, I don't know what that would be for you, um, but for me, that changed everything. And I will get this still the normal breakouts, but now Young Living even has an acne treatment that I can put on it. And it's totally natural and it gets a lot of the properties from essential oils. Yeah. So that is how, um, why I got started with these, this natural makeup line and that I just want to tell you about it. We're going to go through later. Hey, Carmen. Hey. <laughs> and um, I'll go through the list of what Young Living has, why it's different, and share that in a little bit. But I just wanted to let Erin say what her thoughts are. I've been using the makeup for um, over a year now. Mm -hmm. And um, I was not, what were you, at previously to Young Living makeup, I was a like Neutrogena, um, cheap makeup foundation person. What were you? Bare yeah. minerals. Bare minerals? Yeah. Okay. And I have so to say led... that it was your testimony mm -hmm. and you talking about the makeup that made me want to try it. Awesome. And so for the month and a half that I've been using it, I haven't gotten big cystic breakouts. So, you know, fingers crossed that the hormones are, you know, that that's, that's what it is and that I can continue having those kind of results. Um, but yeah, that's mm -hmm. really exciting. 
Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. We'll tell why. I've got some notes because I'm not, um, I don't have a great memory. I am pregnant and I <laughs> baby brain. So I have some great notes of why that happens and why our skin is so supported um, because of the ingredients in the mineral line. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so I'm glad that you tried it and you look beautiful by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, what are you wearing? So do you, do you remember? I'm uh, wearing Warm 3 is pretty close match to my color. I think that in the winter I'll have to mix still, but right now Warm 3 works for me and I'm wearing, I just got the Posh um, lipstick. It's so pretty. And, it's really pretty. and then, then the Embrace um, gloss that? over it. Yeah. Cool. So that's I like what it. I have. And yeah. you don't wear any eye makeup? Well, my eye makeup, I'm not using Young Living because I haven't not ordered yet. that yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of the uh, use up and then buy yeah. person. I can't ditch expensive yeah. stuff, but I had to ditch that foundation. Yeah, so. I haven't gone to that. That's one. <laughs> That's thing. the I, one I, I thing. Yeah, I didn't. I'm not using my bare minerals foundation. Is still sitting on my dresser. Yeah. So you should go back and see what happens. No, no, <laughs> no it's not worth Just it. Just give it up. Just give yeah. it up. <laughs> yeah. No, there's some things, and with your skin and the foundation being like the most, the biggest organ here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm. That was the first. I, I'm eyes. I mean, I know the eyeshadow has talc in it. Yeah. Could be carcinogenic, but it's just a little area. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like your face is more. Yeah. And if your skin's absorbing uh, uh, 60 to 80 percent of what you put on it, just. You gotta be. Let's let's figure out what you're put on, putting on it. Okay, okay. So why um, why go toxin free? Okay, and you guys are pretty smart, especially the two watching. Thanks for watching. Um, and feel just what you don't want is you don't want ingredients. Let me read some um, that can cause this carcinogens that are endocrine disruptors that are uh, skin irritants. Um, there's petrochemicals, there's talc in makeup, there's parabens, um, and there's phthalates that are disguised in so many different names. And looking up these products, you can find out if you go to safecosmetics.org, that will give you the reasons why you don't want to have these ingredients in there. Um, there's also some things that aren't generally so like on the scare list like bismuth that's in it's a cheap filler that does cause skin irritants and I've heard it does cause clog pores so that's in some mineral makeup companies so even in other just mineral natural lines you're still gonna have this stuff <laughs> No there's, names, no names. <laughs> there's a, no names. We won't say what names, what companies. Um, so there's, in, in this Young Living Mineral Makeup, there is no gluten, no nanoparticles, no metals like lead in our lipsticks. Mm -hmm. I've heard that they're in all, and the FDA doesn't regulate, and they can put whatever they want in there. Um, no dyes in this, so it's all going to be natural dyes, which is really cool. No bugs crushed up in our lipsticks. <laughs> um, and, I, and, and then no synthetic fragrances. So if you're really sensitive to makeup, a lot of people have been saying this switch is really good because, they're, oh, my eyes and the makeup on my eyes. and um, Give this a try. Give it a try. Um, so what's really cool is that this is um, some makeup line that you don't have to compromise ingredients. The Okay, we're back. Um, my favorite ingredients are aspen bark and kaolin clay. Um, the aspen bark is skin softening, and I don't know if you feel that when you put it on, but my skin at the end of the day is super soft, yeah. and it does hold and stick very well. So the aspen bark is skin softening and is a natural preservative. Mm -hmm. So you can say bye bye parabens. You don't need those in your makeup. Let's get some tree bark. <laughs> I like this part of the earth, okay? Yeah. Um, and then the kale and clay is really famous right now, really popular in the world um, with like, like clay masks and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so put some clay in our makeup. Um, and what it does is it sucks out the impurities and the grime and the dirt and the pollution and the germs in the pores, yeah. which is why I think that I have beautiful skin now. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, nasty skin. Okay, um, what other also cool ingredients are mica, which is a safe ingredient. It's natural and it gives our pigment the color, mm -hmm. um, pigment color. And then they have other high quality ingredients um, and no nano ingredients that, that can be absorbed into the bloodstream um, so that 
You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I just learned about those, so that's really interesting. Well, tell me about that. No particles. Well, yeah. I'm researching um, I sunscreen that you have to that, to go to uh, Hawaii, and mm -hmm. you have to have non-nano zinc, and I thought, what is this? And so, yeah, the nanoparticles are um, so small that they just seep in, and non-nano means that it's going to sit you know, they're not going to, they're, they're not so small that they seep into the bloodstream, mm -hmm. but yeah. They stay on the surface of the skin instead mm -hmm. of being absorbed. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't want zinc in there too much, maybe. Right. <laughs> Unless right. you're low on zinc, then I guess. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it depends. Okay. That's really cool. Thank you. I am always learning. Okay. Um, obviously, from the inside out, um, you've done a lot of inside internal work with food, diet, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, your diet can be lacking minerals, you can be overstressed that can trigger different acne and pre premature aging. So, I mean, the makeup is not your one-time fix. You, there are so many other avenues. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What well, triggers can be sugar, processed food, mm -hmm. wheat, dairy, um, and then just eating natural, healthy, clean ingredients. Is I'm really big on so I try as much as I can to avoid the processed sugars so that it's not seeping out through my skin um, and did you want to say anything else about diet well I completely agree in fact <laughs> Brooke made cookies tonight for those of you that know Brooke and I have speaking of sugar <laughs> two and I fully expect in a couple of days to have some breakouts but we'll see maybe I'll just start um, using the, the acne treatment I got the acne treatment so cool. <laughs> just use that a whole bunch to see if I can counteract that sugar. But. Right. I take my sugar and then I put on oils to help yeah. <laughs> um, Young Living has some really cool products that are actually, I've noticed my skin just being healthier is um, Ninja Red. It's yeah. a great antioxidant. So you're getting a cellular um, antioxidant boost. Uh, Sulfurzyme can help the hair. Mm -hmm. um, omega Gize, which is your DHA and Omega 3s, so that's a supplement. Life 9 is a gut probiotic that we all need a really good gut yeah. in order to really affects everything, right? You guys know that. Um, okay, so let's talk about the makeup. Uh, start with the brushes. Okay, so <laughs> I have one brush, which is amazing. It will be the softest brush you have ever felt. Yes. It's Made in Italy. Um, I don't have the brush set either because I'm saving up for it. Yeah. I know it's it's really amazing. Could I use Essential Rewards points to buy it free? I, I've never checked. I think so. I should check. <laughs> I, I that would so. be That'd cool. be nice because I'm getting mine or, um, right. up. Right. So this is this is what it comes with the Warm 2 kit, and it comes with a lip gloss, and this one's really nice. That's pretty. Yeah, so sparkly. And it smells amazing. Mm-hmm with peppermint infused mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then there's also a blush I can put these back in here and I don't know if I can get them back out this one's really tough to get out yeah you can show that the box that that yeah. inner part that's pretty okay I'm just <laughs> gonna show them to you like this because it's not gonna come out I'm gonna have to use my box every time I put on blush now so it comes with a blush just like that. Um, and I think I actually put my warm three in here. This is the warm two kit, but I, um, this is what I use mostly is the warm three cool. right now. And then you're not going to eat. This. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's like, what is for me? <laughs> okay. So this is the bottom of the box and this is going to be your spray. This helps the um, makeup to adhere uh, to the brush and, and then helps it go on the skin mm -hmm. better. And this smells amazing too. This is Lavender and um, there's a lot of great smells. There's in there. a lot of stuff in here. Cedarwood, mm -hmm. and that's that lavender and cedarwood that we love uh, for the sleep spray. We made one at, at that uh, DIY. Yeah. Then you also get a lavender oil, and these are all three eyeshadows. I yep. believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful, purpley. They are. I love those colors. And I can't wait for them to make a warm three kit. I'm going to be really mm -hmm. excited to see what colors they would put in yeah. there. Yes, this is a really That's pretty really deep cool. purple. I love this one. Mm -hmm. And then it has the primer eyeshadow to help it stick to. Yeah. And it comes with the lavender. A lot of people ask, well, why is the lavender in there? Well, it's so great for your skin. <laughs> it's good for your skin. Yeah. I was outside to watching the rain tonight, and before you came over, 
and um, I had some um, an itchy spot on my skin from some little pesky bug mm. and I grabbed some lavender and I just stuck it right on the spot so that yeah. was cool. We had a lot of burns um, for the 4th of July and and Kristen grabbed out the lavender and mm -hmm. we started dousing everybody and my husband came to me the next day and said it's gone and I said yeah that's the lavender so I don't even see it anymore right. so maybe he's sold now we'll see. <laughs> Lavender is very supportive of that skin health. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I love, so that was the basic kit that mm -hmm. you can get for a quick five minute face. And I thought I would do a little bit of a five minute face for you as well um, because it took me a little bit of time. I'm just going to look and leave it over here. Um, maybe hold this. Okay. okay. It took me a little bit of time to figure out the, the misting method uh, because you will, the the best way to get this applied is to do it misted. Mm -hmm. You can do it dry if you want, um, but it's not its not how it was intended and created. It was created by one of the Young Living, a Young Living distributor who needed natural makeup. So hey, let's make it ourselves. So um, it's just a beautiful, what she did, and she created this, this pattern, I mean, of using the, the mister. Well, I mean, it's not her creation. How many other companies have a misting spray? It's not a setting spray, just for. Well, I don't know that they have. It's a little they different. It, do they use it? They don't use it the same way though. You have no. a misting spray, but this is we spray on the brush. Spray the brush mm -hmm. and not the face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some people do, and there's a thousand different ways to do it. Um, to do this, so you just look up a tutorial. So I just tapped a little bit of foundation into the brush. Um, now I will do it. Oh, you should know this one thing um to prime your face there's so many different primers that mm -hmm. i would recommend there's the art light moisturizer there's the art renewal serum and then i just got actually let's just try it today yeah it's really nice i picked it up too the um the new the matte, matte primer the matte primer yeah they have two primers that you can get um just a little dab probably goes mm -hmm. a, i don't know would you say that much yeah i okay. think so for a little bit of the face um, a little dab will go a long way so yeah it's really kind of it's thick yeah it's, it's thick but it doesn't fe feel thick once you no, get but it it's on light. there it's yeah mm -hmm. it's not runny as in right not like if I was going to use a lot of my other moisturizers that's cool. right that was my first experience nice. <laughs> I just got this so <laughs> that's exciting okay so people say if you use the primer then it'll help cover in the fine lines or help mm -hmm. with the fine lines um, with the coverage and then it'll stay longer throughout the day. So, um, anyway, so sometimes for a dry method, I will bake on to my redness. I will dryly pat into my red spots on my face. Do you use the lighter color? And I use a lighter color for the foundation okay. for a little, yeah, a little baking method. Um, so once that's patted in to my redness, my red redder skin or anything you want to cover up give it a good pat mm -hmm. then I will go to my eyes and then I will maybe get my warm two or my darker color and pat a little bit more and what color is that that you're using now I'm using the same yeah. but I would go yeah. warm too yeah yeah and it's really um adjustable mm -hmm. it's forgiving I think yeah. so so I sprayed the brush three times Sorry, okay. and it's a beautiful, like the oils in there just make yeah. me, it's very relaxing, um, it's very feminine, very nice. So, and then I'll just kind of get the bristles, br bristles, yeah, um, moisture in there, <laughs> um, tap, and then I'm just going to work it in, and then um, into my, and I can go, I just can't show you, <laughs> into my bags, <laughs> and so, um, and I won't be able to see without my glasses. See. I just, <laughs> <laughs> See, you do it. Yeah. You're doing great. And then once you just kind of, you can swirl, um, I don't know, did you use um, a brush to apply before? Yeah. Yeah, I've always used a brush. A brush. Okay. In fact, the first I've thing never. was using the sponge for the baking. So mm. Yeah. I, I did get some You have got it? Oh, okay. You can use a sponge for baking. Some yeah. Good tips. So, and then you can apply more layers. Yeah. How many layers? Like, that was just one coat. Well, two, one and a half. It, I, I usually end up doing two, depending on what kind of coverage I'm going for. If I'm just going to cover up that, to kind of blend or not, you know, be really heavy, then I'll just do one. But mm -hmm. I yeah. still have a lot of scarring that I'm 
that I, but I don't also don't like a really thick um, well, you got a coverage. good coverage for one coat yeah well That's, this is no this is two you did too yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> depends on like you said um if I'm going out for the evening yeah or just don't care yeah <laughs> and I think also it lasts a long time if because I mean I don't wear a whole lot of makeup but when I'm gonna wear makeup I can go chemical free yeah um and it lasts a good while um a lot of the makeup that I have has lasted a year yeah the only thing I've had to replace is the um foundation yeah <laughs> that, that would be yeah I just ordered another one but then I'm, I'm using it uh a little bit more. I've been wearing a lot of makeup lately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's really cool about some of the other products is that they are infused with essential oils. Oh, I'm excited. To um, see this, one. this is the matte. Um, some of it's powder, and now some of it is now in a palette. Um, I love these. Just love. I'm not. I'm, I love this. This is just way better than having to use powder. Yeah. So. Um, it, and you know, it's the best part about this eyeshadow is that it has shea butter and coconut oil. Um, and it goes on like smooth. It's, yeah, it's really nice. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. And now do we just have, we have the one palette right now? One palette now, okay. but I would assume that they're going to yeah. come out with like the different color right. shades. So it's really pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. And I think it does have a little bit of essential oil. Do you remember? I don't. So I'll have to look that one up. So that's new, come out, this came out this year or in June. Um, also, the what's not going to be there on the script is the mascara. The mascara is all natural. It's not going to, um, it's not going to give you any irritation. Um, hopefully not. You should try it out before. <laughs> like, maybe you should test an area. But um, the ingredients aren't going to irritate your skin. Um, and the only thing I would say is because it is a natural makeup is that it has to dry. It doesn't dry quickly. I don't know if you noticed that. Have you tried it? No. Okay. I don't, I don't have it yet. I won't be able to do this very well in the phone. But <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you've seen that at all. <laughs> I'm just pretending. <laughs> So does this one have um, lavender and cedar wood in it? Uh, good question. It doesn't have cedar wood. Okay. But you could add cedar wood for yeah. a lengthening look yeah. to help those lashes lengthen. Um, but it does have lavender. Okay. And you can you can smell it, I think. I think. Or you could add another drop. I love adding, adding lavender, too. Have you tried that? Yeah. Into I have it in my Bare Minerals. Yeah. I was about to add cedar wood in, too, but... Yeah, it goes longer, and I think your eye, eyelash mites won't. I don't oh yeah, <laughs> I don't have eyelash mites. <laughs> we all do <laughs> apparently. Okay, and I think I just squinted. So again, natural makeup. Um, it's not gonna dry fast because this is just natural pigment. So, um, and you just let it. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I got the new, the last new thing that I'll talk about. Do those eyeshadows have shimmer in them? They are. Mm, uh, they are shimmering. Yeah, they are. Yeah, there's so matte pretty, eyeshadows. Well, she though. she does really well with shimmer. Oh, you like shimmer? Okay, good. <laughs> they um. So it comes with like a, this one. There you go. That's okay. that's a good representation of the colors. Yeah. This um. Shimmer. The uh, there are matte colors for people who like matte. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then this is going to. How do you apply lipstick? Because. This is the new lipstick that has okay, which cinnamon. Is that one? Uh, Have you seen the posh? Kind of grapefruit? No, no, you can get it. Okay. The lipsticks either either have tangerine. Um, this one is cinnamon. Uh, they have some oh, essential oils I didn't in know it. They were different mm -hmm. ones. I thought yeah. they all had a uh, cinnamon. They there's two different. Yeah. This so this is. I like it. It's really dark. Which I was kind of happy for because Here, then show. I could use my. Um, is that I darker know, than mine? Yes. Yeah, the color one. It's show more up. purple. So this is the posh, mm -hmm. and it's it is very purple, which is okay for me. Um, awesome. <laughs> and uh, but then I can use the embrace. Is a little bit too light for me, so I use this with the embrace, and it just makes it, it it's really pretty and gives a little bit of a shimmer, which I typically wouldn't do, but but I have been able to do it with this. Yeah, that's a true. Um, I will combine the lip glosses that I have mm -hmm. over my lip colors if it's not like a color that I want, and then I've got so I've got two of the darker lip glosses, and these have the peppermint in them. They're so good. Yeah. Um, 
and if I don't, I don't really love these colors, but when I can put it with a lipstick, I mean, it makes these really beautiful combinations, yeah. and I can make, you know, but more, what do you call it? This now, is gonna, it's gonna give you the shimmery. More combos. Yeah. 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 But I do like, I do like this color, uh, um, and I don't know if you can read the ingredients. Oh, I love that. Can you read those in? Like, no, there's, really like it's too. really cool. Um, some of them I can't read. I'm sure it's natural. Castor, Yohoba, Candilla, mm -hmm. uh, Coconuts, um, Canuba, Caranuba, Shea, <laughs> Orange, Cinnamon, and Spearmint. And oils. Mm -hmm. So the main ingredients, even though I don't know what this thing is on top, we'll have to look it up on that bewell.com or safecosmetics.org. Um, this one? But, yeah. I don't know what that is. But main ingredients are jojoba oil and castor oil. Yeah. And the, the wax. The mm -hmm. canadilla wax. So, I think that's really cool. You should be really proud of the ingredients that they put in all the products because they're not going to be they're not going to be lead or crushed up beetle. Um, yeah. <laughs> what was I going to show you? Oh, so, this is like scary dark. This is like date night. Just so I, I'm going to show you the embrace. Where's my star kit? Oh, it's underneath. <laughs> Where? It's right here. I was gonna. Oh. I, was, I was gonna lighten it up with like a different color. Here, let's lighten it up you with. Can do that one. Yeah. What is? What color is this that? This is Journey. Okay. And it's almost done. And this lasts. This lasts so long. So, I don't know that this will blend very well. Because <laughs> this one's a little bit gold, and then your colors. A little bit. I like gold with red. But <laughs> okay. It's not bad. I like it. It's cute. It, it, embrace would be cuter. Yeah. I think. The lighter pink. Anyway, it's fun to play with all this. And when if you have teenagers, which you do. Yeah. And um, you guys do, don't you? Yes. Close to teenage? Mm -hmm. Teen years? Yeah, they have teenagers. Yeah. So you've got... I'm just going to put a little blush because I look silly without. <laughs> just, okay, and which color is this? This is passionate. This is a matte yeah, I like that. blush. And I'm you guys, I'm not a makeup expert. But, um, oh, it always looks so good. It's just a little bit. Oh, and I like people that. use this as a bronzer. Yeah. Um, if you just want to look a little tanner. <laughs> well, I do, but I love it as well. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Thanks, Carmen. I really don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I've only been doing makeup for like the last five years, so. <laughs> yeah. No, it looks really good. I, I just started growing into do you do the, um, oh, eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk that, about that? Well, I don't know anything about it yet because <laughs> I don't have it yet, but I'm really interested in getting the, um, it's the multitasker. Okay. So, there's so why it's called a multitasker is because a lot of people will do it for brows and then also use it for eyeliner, right? Yep. I was just going to show that. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, there's four different shades of multitasker now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. So there's a black, there's a dark brown, there's a medium, and there's, there's a, a tan. Black. Okay, so here's my dark brown and medium color, and um, I actually just got the medium, and so I'll tap a little bit into my, it's really, it's really nice. I will do my eyebrows, but um, into my hair, and then shape it. Okay, this is a bad idea to do this <laughs> without a mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh. Use your, your palette? Oh yeah, I could do that. Where did I put it? It's right in between the box there Got and it. the dress. Okay, so it is cool. And then you, did you know that there's a fourth way to use the multitasker? Mm -mm. It's for your roots. Uh, if you have, if you need to dark, darken the roots, then, um, oh, this is cool. I'm ready for a date. Yeah, you are. <laughs> now I need to go do something, and now I'm just going to go lay down and relax after this. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking of taking a bath. Okay, that's... Just take a bath. And that might on. not be a very good color for my eyebrows. I don't know. I have to blend that in a little bit better now that I can see it. Anyway, okay. So, do you guys have any makeup questions? Um, any questions about... Um, I, I'm not sure. Oh, the pricing, just so you guys know, is... Okay, that's not working. That's um, <laughs> for the, kit. the the price for the kit, if you are not a member, is one fifty. Yeah, and you get the foundation, you get the the blush, the the gloss, the eyeshadows, the lavender, mm -hmm. which is a really good steal. And the spray. Um, total, yeah, and the spray, and then total, you've got 
over like $200 worth of products so that you only get it for $150. So a lot of people, if you're already members, so say Kristen, um, you could get a makeup kit to save money and then you can actually just buy it. You can buy kits yeah. to save a little bit of money. So if you're interested in buying the kit, then do it that way or you can buy it on Essential Rewards, which also saves a little bit of money that way. You get 10%, 20%, 25% back. So um, if you're on ER, then I'd recommend some doing it that way or just buying the full-out kit. Okay, yeah. I'm going to finish my eyebrows. Do we have another color for mascara or is it just black? It's just black right now. Just black, Carmen. I have seen... Um, <laughs> you went a little high on that. <laughs> this, uh, this is a really bad demo. Okay, I'm going to stop. And I have seen um, people put in their own colors to lighten. So you know what you could do is you could put a multitasker inside the mascara. Okay. Like, and lighten it up. Wow. And make it a little more brown. Okay, so probably some good tutorials on that. Yeah. People it hack it all black? the time. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not, it's... It's not dark. Yeah. Um, they say that you're, I heard this, I'm not sure if there's an expert here, but I heard that um, your mascara should actually be the color of your pupils. Oh. I don't know. So if your pupils are really, really dark, okay. <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just okay. glad it's <laughs> glad it's you. <laughs> you weren't there when I was putting mine on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, doing your eyebrows is definitely a really cool thing that you can do with. Um, no, I'm really excited. About yeah, multitasker. multitasker eyebrows, eyeliner, and um, eyeshadow. It's beautiful and some matte color, so you can really do play with the colors. Um, yeah. So what was I going to say? <laughs> just try. Okay, we're going to finish up. Let me see. Okay, so you can get, um, yeah, play with the colors. You can adjust the colors as you need. Um, if you need help with foundation colors, um, there's, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling okay with this makeup. It's mm -hmm. cool. Okay. Um, if you're feeling uh, you need help with foundation, I've got, like, color swatches mm -hmm. um, for foundations and that we can match. And then there's some tips and tricks, like, what color are your veins that you can look up? Um, what color are your eyes? What color is your hair? So what's the tip with the veins? It's like if they look blue. Let's do here. Let's look. Just to make sure that I'm wrong. Not right. <laughs> that might be on this thing. Oh, yeah. Can I switch? Color of your veins. If they're greenish, you're going to be a warm color. If they're blue-purple-ish, they're going to be cool. So I think, I mean, I'm obviously a warm yeah. And I look, I think I can go both ways. Yeah. Yeah. If I wanted to. Yeah. So go with your gut. Um, my undertones are more warm. So that's important. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks guys. You guys are so sweet. Yeah. Um, another thing I was going to suggest, oh, is the, um, if you're, so if you're already a member, getting it on a quick order or essential rewards, uh, getting the art skincare system, like the first month, because you, um, there's like a three month option. So the second month get, oh, and get some, uh, yeah, second month, or add some makeup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> second month, get the Renewal Serum or the primer um, and get your, get another, get another set, a couple things of makeup. And then the third month, go for the Satin Mint Facial Scrub or other facial item that you want to add to that. I really like these options. There's also special things you can add on like um, lip balm. Yeah. Um, you can do the diamond dust um, or bronzers or whatever. Um, I really like those essential rewards options. And then you spread it out so you're not spending all at once. Um, and it fits a little bit better in the budget. And you can get your points back for it. And yeah. use it how you want. Okay. And that's pretty much all about the makeup. Um, you're getting the best quality with Young Living, and I love that they really care. It's going to have the seed to seal guarantee as well, so you're going to get the best products. They're going to be watching and making sure that they're, they're going to be customer. You're going to get good ingredients and customer service, good customer service, good customer care. So, yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. We're trying. <laughs> I'm just going to grab it.